up guys, it's Mike Timon here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hushishin Dark Mage aka the Servant of Baliar. Welcome to episode, I don't know, <laughs> currently truly clueless, but welcome to the episode of the Temple of Al Shadim. And the ruins surrounding it, of course. Let's get this done. Interesting. The orcs are digging into the secrets of the ancient people of Enos. Whatever they may find, it will bring death. What are you gonna do? Satyrus said you would come. He asked us to support you. That is what I will do. I will support you with everything that I know. We must stop the orcs. Fine. I have positioned a few men behind the orcs camp. Find them and tell them what we're planning. I will attack from here with my men, but you must give us a sign. A sign? What sort of sign? The best thing would be to attack the orc leader. Once they are distracted, we will attack. Let me quickly get Loris or Lesta. What's it, Lesta? Yeah, Lesta. Before I will talk with Satyrus, etc. Because uh, these runes will have a whole lot of artifact to find. Before we're gonna actually enter the temple of Al Shadim. Hey, you! What are you doing sneaking around? Don't creep around here like that, Mora. You're creeping around like a thief. But when Beliar saw what the servants of Enos were doing, he screamed with rage, and a being of ancient power heeded his call, and arose from the earth, and some other great beings arose as well. All right, so let's quickly get Le Le Lester. Our good friend from the penal colony of Corinus. Hey, Lester. How did you fare? The orcs caught me near the pass and dragged me through the desert. First they made me dig. But then they found out I could read the ancient tablets. That gave me some kind of... special status. Man, those tablets are fantastic. They contain a lot of rubbish. But I can feel my magical powers growing. I can even sense the magic flowing through the ruins. I let Tamkosh know about the keys. Now he wants me to open the temple for him. Do you have any stone tablets? Here, take these. I'm finished with them. There's something odd about you. Hey, wait a minute. What's that I smell? You smell like you walked through a field of swamp weed. Oh, that. Yeah, I've got some here. Brought it from Lago. Hey, I took a little gold from the orcs. I don't suppose you would sell me some. Here, take the whole package. Thanks, man. 
That's what I call a true friend. Have you found any keys yet? See? I knew that's what you came here for. I found one near the ruins of the healers. Be careful. Tampkosh wants the amulet for himself. So if we want to enter the temple, we should get rid of him and his orcs first. Give me your key. Here's the key to the temple. I am ready to follow you if you should need my help. Have you got a plan? We're going to need the help of the nomads. You should see to that. Satris is here too. I bet he's going to help you. I see. Come with me. Good. She's stuck. Come on, man. I already know that. Careful, don't touch. All right, I'll be careful. I've spent hours bringing order to this chaos. You wouldn't believe how many ancient stone tablets and artifacts we find, and how much trouble it is to sort them all. But now, I have an overview. About those ancient artifacts. Oh, yes, yes. And most of it is useless crap. Recipes and love letters, uh, that sort of thing. Here. Oh, thighs. Oh, juicy thighs. A love letter? A recipe. It is old, but not useful knowledge. Tell me about useful ancient knowledge. Ancient knowledge is the key to ancient magic. Without that knowledge, you will never be able to learn the ancient spells. Stone tablets, artifacts, inscriptions, useful knowledge. It could be hidden anywhere. Here, I can give you these tablets. Can you teach me something? <laughs> yes, I have succeeded in deciphering some magic formulas. I will teach them to you if you like. Teach me something about ancient magic. Good. Carry on like that. Mm hmm. Show me your goods.
Do you know anything about the Fifth Temple? Ah, the lost one. 8013. I have compiled all the information on that. The short version, please. Fine. We believe there are five temples, and each one contains an artifact, correct? Yes. And so it should have been, but it was not so. The final artifact, a ring, never made it to the temple. Fortunately for us, otherwise the whole story would come to a quick end. Where is this ring, then? Well, let me quote from another passage. But he went not to the temple, and his steps led him far from the land of his fathers. Does that mean he went north? That can be assumed, but we can only speculate on the reasons. Where should I look for the ring? <gasps> look for it in the north. Perhaps the fire mages still have records. The temples of the fire mages have been destroyed. The monastery in north are too. <sighs> But they have a library there. That's at the other end of the world. Yes, it is a long way to walk. But you don't have to go there immediately. What abilities does the Ring of Magic grant? Uh, it all happened some thousand years ago. And our records are sparse. It probably grants its wearer magical abilities. I already know that. You certainly took your time. Why didn't you come sooner? I... No excuses. We have great things planned and no time to waste on apologies. I will explain everything to you as best I can. How did you get away from the island? The Focus Stones performed one last service for us. We used them for a teleportation ritual. Unfortunately, we had to leave them behind in order to escape. We no longer have the stones. But our strongest weapon is our knowledge. And that is not lost. What about the orcs? What about them? They certainly aren't here for the sunshine. They want to get the divine artifacts from the temple. And we cannot and will not permit that. So we will attack them? They won't go away voluntarily. So talk to Wutras. He knows what needs to be done. What do I have to know? We are here in Al Shadim, the temple city of the Ancient Ones. According to the inscriptions, the protector of the body was kept here. Sounds like armor. Armor, a robe, a garment. Probably something of that sort. One thing is certain. It is one of the five artifacts that are necessary to... To what? We will talk about that later. First, find that armor. Where is the artifact? In the temple? Naturally. And have you already opened the temple? We have found out that you need five... Keys to open the temple? Correct. I have already acquired one of the keys. And the others? Hopefully they have survived the last millennium undamaged. Then I will go look for them. Any clues? I have marked a few places on this map. They are calculations based on where the first key was found. A lot can happen in a thousand years, so don't expect too much. Where did you find the key? Quite nearby, in a stone chest. 
We are the priests' quarter here. Which is obvious from the architecture. The inscriptions and artifacts that we have found indicate it. What will happen when I open the temple? When the Great Flood swept across the land a thousand years ago, many people hid in the temple. The temple stood strong, surrounded by water. But no one ever came out alive. I suspect that the skeletons will be awakened by the strong magic. So you better take a big axe with you. Or ask Mixir about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead. He said something about that. Perhaps he can help you. Will you give me the key? It is better if I keep it until you have found the others. Well done. I hate those beasts. beasts. Fifty percent of my healing potion juiced.
There's nothing new here. I hate those beasts. Once I found the uh, all the tablets and explored this part of the ruins, you know, then I will uh, let that guy wait, teleport to cities to buy potions, as well as. Uh, possibly make some potions, I doubt it though.
I need all the potions I can get. Seven stone tablets of the priests, I got them all. Where is Lester? Wait here. All right, then I'll stay here. What about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Oh, should be under AV-37. Ah, here, I quote, end yard ago, the Guardian descended into the crypt. Get to the point. Here it is. He bore his, uh, his, uh, artifact. Blessed with the power of the light and of life, and gave peace to those who found no peace. And what is that supposed to mean? 
Uh, I think this may be something that is certainly of use to you. Show me your goods. Alright, so let's buy some healing potions. Show me your goods. 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 Once I get access to Ishtar, I will be able to make a lot of gold, a whole lot of gold. Because the first blueprint that I will buy is the blueprint of the Master Sword, which is the uh, one-handed weapons that Zubin wears. They're very, very strong, expensive though. Um, I think it costs about 40 to 50,000 for the blueprint alone. But the weapons in themselves are very, very valuable.
show me your goods. Not as nearly as much as I need. But there is another problem. Sh but better some than none. Come with me. Here we go then. And anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell if you do. Smash those like buttons if you want to see a, a gothic series hardcore run. And I hope to see you guys in part 2 where we're going to continue the search at El Shadim for the Guardians of the Dead artifacts. Which are still the figurines of the warrior, the scrolls of the scholars, the urns of the dead, and tankards of the healers, I believe. The scrolls of the priests, or tablets of the priests, I always already have those, which I collect in this one. So let's go to the next one and uh, see what we manage to be able to collect. At least, you know, I will. Tr it, it's gonna be done hands down that each episode, at least one set of artifacts will be digged up. Um, it could be more, you know, but once I start with searching or picking up one individual artifact, I have to get them all before I can stop the record so they're clean and episodes apart. That's why this is going to be the end of the episode, so I can go to the next part of this episode and continue the search without having too much worry about prolonging the episode way too long because of the fact that I can't find certain artifacts so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of the Temple of Al Shadim episode so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time